Many outstanding citizens are interred in two historic cemeteries in the city of Orangeburg. These individuals made significant contributions locally, as well as in the state of South Carolina and in the nation. Dr. Jean Atkinson, a local historian and president of the Orangeburg Historical Society, will lead two hour-long tours of Sunnyside Cemetery on November 10th and Orangeburg Cemetery on November 17th at 3 p.m. Organized on April 13, 1886, Sunnyside is a predominantly white cemetery. A few of the notable citizens buried at Sunnyside Cemetery are George H. Cornelson. He is said to have been the one person who has done the most for Orangeburg economically through the years. After the Civil War, he established several businesses that helped improve the economy following the horrible devastation after General Sherman destroyed Orangeburg. Professor Hugo G. Sheridan, son of a renowned physician, Sheridan served as a soldier during the Civil War and in the South Carolina House of Representatives. He was a famous educator for whom Sheridan Elementary School is named. Professor Stiles R. Mellishamp, a distinguished educator and former Orangeburg School Commissioner, Mellishamp Elementary School is named after him. In 1878, Mellishamp purchased the Orangeburg Times, which later merged with the Democrat to become the Times and Democrat. A few of the notable citizens buried at the Orangeburg Cemetery are members of the Fordham family. John Hammond Fordham, prominent African-American lawyer and deputy collector of the IRS. He was a statewide canvasser for the Republican Party. In 1888, he attended the National Republican Convention in Chicago as an alternate delegate and his daughter, Farella Fordham, the only registered nurse in Orangeburg in 1903. Fordham dedicated 56 years to the nursing profession to include time at South Carolina State University and her alma mater, Claflin University. And members of the Wilkinson family, Dr. Robert Shaw Wilkinson, the legendary second president of what is now known as South Carolina State University. He and his wife, Marion Wilkinson, founded St. Paul's Episcopal Church, the first African-American public high school in Orangeburg was named after him. Mrs. Wilkerson, founder of the South Carolina Federation of Colored Women's Club and the Sunlight Club, was instrumental in organizing several recreation centers for African-American soldiers during World Wars I and II throughout the state. The tour of Sunnyside Cemetery is Sunday, November 10th at 3 p.m. Those interested in touring Sunnyside Cemetery should meet at the entrance of the Orangeburg Cemetery on Summers Avenue. The tour of the Orangeburg Cemetery is Sunday, November 17th at 3 p.m. Those interested in touring the Orangeburg Cemetery should meet at the entrance of the Orangeburg Cemetery on Bull Street.